At Croy this week, there's been the first uh, trial data on injectable HIV treatment in Africa. I spoke to Dr. Nicholas Patton to find out more. Tell me what you did in the study and what you found out. So we did a study of long-acting therapy in Sub-Saharan Africa, and we needed to do that because the population in Sub-Saharan Africa and the way that people receive their HIV treatment is completely different from North America and Europe, where the previous studies have been done. They have different previous drug exposure, they have different viral subtypes, and treatment is delivered in a different way with very sparse viral load monitoring. So we needed to test long-acting therapy in that population. How effective was it? Extremely effective. We found that 97% of people, both on long-acting therapy and continuing oral therapy, maintain viral suppression. So there was really no difference for the people who switched on to long-acting therapy. They did just as well as if they continued on oral therapy, but obviously had the advantages of being on long-acting therapy in terms of convenience and, and you know, lifestyle um, improvements. Are we now at a stage where injectable cabotecavir ropivirine could be provided in African clinics? I think the trial is the, the key first step to having those discussions about how we might do this. So we've shown the safety and the efficacy of the treatment and now we need to have all the practical discussions about how this might work in sub-Saharan Africa. So considering things like cost, considering things like feasibility, the cold chain, uh, just how it might be implemented, that's a big piece that needs to be worked out.